This is 2020. Exner's story might never have come out if she hadn't been asked to continue the other role she describes, acting as a courier between Sam Giancana and Jack Kennedy. She says she set up face-to-face -face meetings with the two men and carried messages from the White House to the Mafia. Tell me how you carried the messages back and forth. Plain manila envelope. I mean, um, sometimes just a business envelope or, or an 8 by 10 manila envelope. Did you ever look inside? No, never. Exner now believes those messages were part of a secret attempt to get rid of Fidel Castro at a time of worsening relations with Cuba. The White House Mafia connection has never been proved. And over the years, many Kennedy researchers have questioned her claims. But columnist Liz Smith, who's followed the story for 20 years, is among those convinced it is true. Do you think that the president used Judith? Oh, absolutely. I think he saw her as the perfect willing, compliant person and asked her to do these things, which to us appear unbelievable and fantastic. Whatever Exner was doing, the FBI was interested enough to put her under surveillance. That, along with the guilt and loneliness from loving another woman's husband, cooled her passion. She says she visited the White House one last time, an event that would become the source of her anguish more than three decades later. Judith Exner says she visited the White House one last time. It was 11 months before Dallas. I did go back to see him one more time. This was in December, in December. of 1962. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Unfortunately, um, I got pregnant. You got pregnant? Yes. I called him and I told him and he said, oh my God, he said, what are you going to do? And he caught himself immediately and he said, I'm sorry. He said, what are we going to do? And I said, there's only one thing can be done. He said, well, I want you to know. He said, if you want to have the baby, he said, you can have the baby. And I said, that's impossible, Jack. Who do I tell this child his father is? Um, and after, you know, several conversations he he asked me he said well have you made up your mind and i said yes and he said well do you think sam could help us and i said i don't know sam giancana